Hey everybody, it's your personal trainer, Coach Kozak. And I'm Claudia, and this is a workout for seniors, individuals who are obese, and anyone with limited mobility. You can follow along with me for the standing variations. And follow along with me for those seated modifications. The only equipment required for today's routine is a chair, and then either a pair of light hand weights or water bottles. All right, and we're gonna get started with a nice light warm up. And as you can see, Claudia is gonna go ahead and take her seat for the warm up while I'm gonna do it standing. At, throughout the course of today's routine, you can choose which variation is gonna be right for you in your specific needs. We're gonna start with an upright row plus external rotation and press. It's not as scary as it sounds, I, I promise. Shoulders are back, good posture. We're gonna pull up on those elbows and then flip the hands over and then reach up top. Now we're gonna reverse, pull the elbows down, flip the hands over, and bring the hands back down. So go ahead and go through that sequence. One, two, three, four, five, six. Excellent, this is a great sh complete shoulder and upper body complex. That'll help to warm up your upper body as well as improve your mobility. Now throughout the course of today's workout, like I said, you choose if you want to do the standing variation or the seated, and we're also not going to count any repetitions today. So it's all about moving at a pace that you feel comfortable with and making this workout your own. Making sure to breathe, keep your core tight, abs stay engaged, shoulders are back, good posture on this one. Pulling up on those elbows as high as you can and then flipping those hands. Excellent. Let's do this one for five. Four, three, two, one, and zero. Good, shake those arms loose. Next, we're gonna move into an arm pullover. Great one for the shoulders as well as your back. First thing we're gonna do is bend over on a 45 degree angle. And I came up on the edge of my seat a little bit here. We're gonna keep that good 45 degree lean, and then we're gonna bring our arms all the way up and then arms all the way back. Keep those palms facing down. Nice full range of motion, stretching all the way back and stretching all the way overhead. You know, when I say all the way, of course, our flexibility may be different than yours. You may be more flexible, less flexible. Whatever your full range of motion looks like, I'd ask that you give it. And don't be discouraged if you don't quite have the range of motion that we have on any of these moves so far today. That's why we're here, right? Getting better. Come back, repeat this workout, get better every single time. Good. Let's hit this one up for just five, four, three, two, one, zero. All right, next we're gonna move into a posterior swing. We're gonna loosen up your posterior chain, which is your lower back, glutes, and hamstrings. I'm gonna have my feet a little bit wider than shoulder width. Claudia's gonna go ahead and keep her feet shoulder width apart. The key on this one is to engage our posterior chain. So I'm gonna have a little bend in those knees, a little bend in my hips, swing my weight back behind me. My hands are gonna go through my legs where Claudia's are gonna go out to her sides. Either way, we're both pushing our hips and glutes back as we bend over, keeping our back straight. And this one really is just using those hips as a hinge. And even with this one, with me being seated, I'm still imagining that I am driving my glutes back towards the wall. Yep, and that'll make sure that'll uh, engage the correct muscles, keeping her back nice and straight. And it really just helps you visualize how the movement should be done. I'd like you to keep your head in line with your spine, so your head stays in a neutral position. You don't want your chin tucked, and you don't want your head way up either. And keep it in line with your spine. Good, feeling that stretch in the back side as you go down you got it let's hit this one for five four three two one and zero good all right this last one we're going to get your heart rate up a little bit last one in the warm-up i should say we're going to do a little march in place but we're still moving at a warm-up pace we're going to move opposite arm and leg so when your right, right leg goes up your left arm should be coming up and vice versa. Keep both elbows bent at a 90 degree angle. And again, you're moving at it a warm up pace still, whatever your warm up pace looks like. There'll be plenty of time here coming up to 
get in some some work thank you so much for joining us today and working out with us we appreciate you let's keep it going keep those shoulders back good posture opposite arm and leg are moving together let's do this one for just five four three two one zero all right good warm, warm up warm up complete feeling good all right so we're going to need our hand weights for the next one so whether you're using some water bottles or some light dumbbells you choose and sometimes it's nice to have both on hand just in case you need to change it up depending mm -hmm. on the exercise all right first one we're going to do is going to be a side raise to a front raise so those palms stay facing down on that side raise and then they're facing inward on the front raise. Both times we're bringing our arms out until they are parallel to the ground. Nice and controlled. We're not swinging our arms. We're not trying to take off or fly here. It's a great one for your shoulders as well as your core just to go ahead and keep yourself in this stabilized position. Keep your abs tight and engaged throughout the move. And if you find that the hand weights are too much for you on this one or, or any of the movements, it's all right if you need to set them down and just go ahead and use your arms. We just encourage you to keep moving, keep working through it and to make this workout your own. Doing great so far today, keep it up. We're breathing, we're moving. We got this one for only 10 more seconds. Almost there, push through it guys, A little Lactic acid burn is starting to kick in. That's okay. That's how we know it's working. It's a good thing, I promise. And three, two, one, zero. All right, keep on those hand weights. We're gonna do a, next, we're gonna do a curl plus run in place. So it's just a hot feet, stand light and on the balls of your feet. And at the same time, we're curling those weights all the way up and all the way down. I want you to curl and squeeze that pinky in up at the top. And again, with all these moves, you're moving at a pace that you feel comfortable with. Whether that's faster than us or slower than us, make this workout your own. And throughout the course of today's workout, it's gonna be so very important that you focus on what motivates you and what brought you here today. Whatever that may be, whether you're trying to lose some weight, just get more fit, or just be better at your day-to-day -day activities, whatever that is. Stay focused on it. Keep your goal in mind. It'll help you get through to the end. We're almost speaking to the end. Almost done with this one for five, four, three, two, one, zero. All right, excellent job. Goodness. Okay, moving into a back exercise next. Mm -hmm. We're gonna do a bent over row. So bending over onto a 45 degree angle, slight bend in our knees, back is straight, palms are facing inward. We're gonna pull back on our elbows and then return. So anytime we do any row, you gotta, I want you to pretend like there's a string attached to your elbow and somebody's pulling back on that string. So what I don't want you to do is pull on your hands like so. Again, keeping that back straight, good posture. All the way up, all the way down. The move is pretty much the same, whether you're standing or seated, but if I'm standing, it forces me to use my legs a little bit more for stability. Excellent job, guys. Keep it up. One rep, right into the next. Ooh, giving that back a nice good squeeze. That's right. Contract your back muscles up at the very top as you're pulling those elbows back. Excellent. And if you need to adjust your weight, feel free to do so. But we just want you to stick with us and keep on moving. You got it. You got it. Not much left on this one. Let's do this one for just five, four, three, two, one, zero. Excellent. All right, another combination move coming up. A lot of combo moves today, you can tell. Okay, so we're going to put those hand weights in a racked position, ready to do an overhead press, feet are shoulder width apart. We're going to step to one side and press at the same time and return back to center. Step and press, keeping a slight bend in your knees. You decide again if you wanna do the standing or the seated variation. It's working your balance on this one either way. And again, if you need to drop the hand weights because it's being, feeling a little too heavy for you, that's 
totally fine. Body weight works just as well. It does. You'd be surprised at how good a workout you can get just moving your arms exactly. on their own. But just hang with us. Come on, guys. Again, focusing on what motivates you. What is it? What's it going to take for you to accomplish your goals? And the work you're putting in today is definitely a great start. Just day after day, doing what you know you need to do to get there. Come on, guys. Let's go. Focus on that goal. Don't focus on that burn. That's the key. Good. Keep it up. And five, four, three, two, one, zero. All right, you can go ahead and put your hand weights down for the next one. We're going to move into what's called a good morning, another move for our posterior chain. We're both going to have our feet shoulder width apart and place our hands on our head. I'm going to drive my hips back with a slight bend in my knees, keeping that slight bend until my upper body gets to about parallel to the ground. And then I'm going to stand up and squeeze my glutes at the top. And I'm doing the exact same movement. Of course, I have my legs extended out and I'm coming down to about a 45 degree angle and I'm just coming right back up. And even though I'm seated, I can still give my glutes a nice squeeze right at the top. And we're both feeling a stretch in our backside. And Definitely. You, you might not have the range of motion or flexibility that we have to get down as far as we are. Like I said, ideally you're getting down on my version until your upper body is parallel to the ground and Claudia's a little higher than that. But depending on your hamstrings, glutes, lower backs, and lower back and other factors, you might not quite be able to get there today. But the good news is, is this move will improve your mobility, so you will improve over time. You just have to keep coming back. That's it. Name <laughs> of the game. Keep showing up. Yep. Consistency. Be amazed what happens when you just keep showing up. Again, keeping driving those hips back behind us, feeling that stretch, working your hamstrings, your glutes as well as your lower back. And again, just re-emphasizing to go at a pace that is comfortable for your fitness level. Whatever that may be. And we're keeping this one up for just five, four, three, two, one, zero. Good. Ooh, I always love that stretch on that move. <sighs> Feels good. No weights required for the next one. We're gonna do a modified jumping jack. So we're not really gonna jump, but we're gonna go through the movement. So for me in a standing position, I'm gonna bring my arms up and I'm stepping out with one leg and return. And I'm doing the exact same movement, of course, putting my hands over my head, but I'm bringing my legs out and back down. You decide which variation is right for you. No problem in going back and forth between the standing and seated variations if you need to. And of course, if you aren't quite extending and opening your legs as quite as wide as me, that's okay. You might just be here for now. And another point that I've heard a few times is ideally you're picking your legs up on that one, but if you can't quite pick them up all the way and they end up kind of dragging a little bit on the ground as you're opening your legs, that's all right too. Just keep working towards being able to pick them up. And I'm keeping a slight bend in my base leg on this one so I don't have my leg straightened out, right? But instead, keeping a slight bend in that knee. And all the while in the seated position, trying to maintain that good posture position keeping our core nice and tight throughout this movement. And we're almost there, guys. We only have 10 more seconds on this one. Keep pushing, staying focused on that goal, whatever it may be, not thinking about how those shoulders are burning or legs are burning. Let's do it for three, two, one, zero. Good. All right, we are gonna need the hand weights for the next one, so go ahead and pick those up. And we're gonna move into another compound movement. Very efficient workout today, a lot in in a short period of time. We're doing a shrug plus calf raise. So hands are relaxed at our side. At the same time, I'm gonna come up onto the balls of my feet and bring my shoulders to my ears. So it's called the shrug movement with our upper body. And we're squeezing our trap muscles up at the top. Slight bend in your knees if you're doing the standing variation. Either way, we're driving off the balls of the feet, coming up onto a calf raise and squeezing our traps or upper back muscles at the same time. Good. One rep right into the next on this one, guys. Great strength movement for your calves, lower body, as well as your traps and upper back. Making sure to breathe, staying focused on that breathing, getting into a nice rhythm with it. Very important to find that rhythm with your breathing. Helps you get through this complete workout. 
Excellent job, guys. Not much left on this one. Let's just hit this one for 10 more seconds. Every repetition is getting us that much closer to our goal. And five, four, three, two, one, zero. Good. Ooh, good one. Shake your legs out if your calves are burning. Shake them. All right, we only need one uh, weight for the next one. We're going to do a standing twist. So feet shoulder width apart. Go ahead and grab on two hands onto that one weight. Or a seated twist. Or seated twist. Thank you. <laughs> Interlocking my fingers on this one. Our arms are up till they're about parallel to the ground. I'm going to have a slight bend in my knees, weight back in my hips. And I'm going to have my core nice and tight. Good posture for both of us. And we're going to twist side to side. And the key on this one is to go ahead and keep that weight in line with the center of your chest. And what that does is make sure that you're not just moving your arms back and forth, but you're actually rotating at your core, engaging that core and making your abdominal muscles do the work and not just your arms flinging back and forth. The way you should think about this is your arms are just along for the ride. It's your abs and your core that are doing all of the work. And again, moving at a pace that you feel comfortable with on this one whatever that may be, but keeping your abs engaged throughout. Don't just let them relax. Actually, when we say engage, we literally mean contracting and flexing them. That's right. So keep them tight. And it's pretty much an ab workout without actually having to get down on the ground and do any type of crunch. That's right. This is a crunchless ab workout today. We're getting several core moves in today, getting plenty of core work in. And again, if you can't go all the way to the side, like we can do the best that you can, we can't, we really can't say that enough. Yeah, it might just be for you. It might just be 45 to 45. But you know what? You come back and do this workout again, maybe it'll be 50 to 50, right? So it's just those small improvements each day that are going to add up to your success. Speaking of which, let's do this one for only five, four, three, two, one, zero. Good. Nice work. For this next one, you get to choose whether or not you want to use your hand weights or not, depending on how much energy you have left in you. We're going to do a high knee pull down. So we're actually going to reach up and we're going to bring our knee up as we pull down. Arms go back up, reach up and bring that knee up at the same time. And we're speaking of not having to get down to get our core and we're going to crunch those abs. So big reach all the way up, pull down and big reach right back up. And you decide if you want to use your weights for this one, or maybe you start with your weights and you drop them halfway. Whatever you need to do, fitness is not a one size fits all solution. Good, big reach, big crunch, and bring that knee as high as you can, which for you might only be this high safely for today. So whatever that is, again, making sure to breathe, guys. You got it. We're getting so much closer to the end right here. That's right. We're almost there. Almost there. Keep it up. Don't stop pushing yourself because no one else can do it for you. It's all for you right here, guys. You're worth it. Let's go. You deserve this. You deserve to feel good. You deserve to accomplish your goals. You deserve to not go through life feeling uncomfortable. Come on. Let's go. You got it right here. One rep into the next for 10 more seconds. Let's go. We're almost there. 10 Come on. seconds left. Let's go. Five, four, three, two, one, zero. That's it. You made it. Excellent nice work. Nice job today. We I don't have, know about you, but my shoulders are they're feeling, feeling good. some burn. They're feeling, feeling some burn. Okay. Okay. We're going to move into a cool down. So I'm going to grab my seat for the cool down. So um, all of the cool down moves will be seated. So if you don't have your chair ready, now's the time to grab it. Whew. Okay, make sure I have enough room for my, my long legs here. All right, we're gonna start with a hamstring stretch. So we're coming forward in the front of your chair. One leg, 90 degree angle bent at that knee. The opposite leg, we're gonna go ahead and straighten that leg out and relax onto your heel. And from right here, you may already have a good hamstring stretch going, but if you need additional, I want you to apply gentle pressure to your knee. And on any of these static stretches we're doing, your goal is always to take it to about 85 to 90% of what you're capable of. So we want to feel a good stretch, but we don't want to induce pain or hurt your, make you hurt yourself. And if you need extra stretch, you can bend over at the same time. So again, you give yourself as much stretch on this one as you need. 
Good. Gentle pressure for five, four, three, two, one, zero. Good. Okay, you can go ahead and sit up. Next one. Oh, go ahead and keep your leg out though. We're going to sit up and we're going to move into a calf stretch. Same leg. So now same position. I want you to curl back on those toes until you start to feel that stretch in your calf. And we're just going to hold those toes back. Keep pulling them back, pulling them back, pulling them back. Stretching like out those. It like you have a string. Right? Or a towel. Which if you need one, you can't oh, get a good true. enough stretch. You towel. could use a band or a towel if, you, if uh, you can't get enough of a stretch on this on its own. Holding this one for three, two, one, and zero. All right, same leg. Let's move on over to our right side of the chair. We're gonna do a quad stretch. Why don't you take that leg and bring that foot back. Now, depending on your flexibility and your balance and ability, you may be good right here and already feeling your quad stretch, or you might really wanna kick that leg back further and then lean back. You decide what's right for you but make sure you're, that uh, you have, you're in a stable position with yep. your chair. So over to the need side. To hold on to the side or hold on to a, right. a tabletop. Then do so. Again, making this stretch your own, but we're stretching out that quadricep, which is the front of this leg muscle, all the way down and through the hip flexor. Gets really tight, especially if you spend a lot of time you know, in a sedentary or seated position. All right, holding this one for three, two, one, zero. Bring that leg back. All right, now we're gonna go through that same sequence, but on the other side. So starting with that hamstring stretch, one leg's bent at a 90 degree angle, opposite leg comes out. We're gonna apply gentle pressure to that knee Ooh. if you need to do so. And we're just going to hold. And sometimes you might feel that one side is tighter than the other. Like for myself, my left side is definitely a lot, a lot more tight than my right side is. Yeah, and that's totally common. Normal. And that's why we like to do, for a lot of the stretching, we like to do one side at a time. Uh, just to make sure that we're giving both sides their uh, appropriate amount of stretch. Big deep breaths in and out, allowing that heart rate to come down. And let's hold this one for three, two, one, zero. All right, calf stretch on this side. Let's go and pull those toes back. And we're just going to hold. Again, get some nice big deep breaths on this one. Now's a good time in the routine to just take a second to, to be proud of what you've achieved so far today. If being fit were easy, everybody would be, right? It wouldn't be, uh, wouldn't be so special. So um, give yourself a pat on the back for getting it done today. And no matter what happens or doesn't happen for the rest of the day, you can feel proud of accomplishing this one. Holding this one for two, one, and zero. Let that calf shake loose okay let's move on over to that opposite side now stretch out that opposite side quad again you decide how far you want to put that leg back or however much stretch you need i'm going to even get a lean back a little bit for a little additional stretch totally optional though nice big deep breaths on this one you got it hold And we're holding this one for five, four, three, two, one, zero, and done. All right, let's stretch out that upper body a little bit before we, before we call it a day. We're gonna do a bent arm chest stretch. So let's get those arms up. We want 90 degree angles all around, and we're gonna pull your arms back and apart like somebody's pulling on both your hands. Wow. And we're going to stretch. Oh, Claudia likes I this one. I feel it. She feels it, guys. I do. I hope, like this We one. hope you do, too. <laughs> <laughs> so, again, we're trying to keep 90 degree angles at both our underarms and our elbows. And we're pulling back, feeling that chest stretch and open. And we're just going to hold. And, again, we're getting to a point where about 85 to 90 percent of what you're capable of. Keep good posture. Keep your core engaged. Again, remembering to just take nice, big, deep breaths. That's it. You got it. And just hold. Not much left. And five, four, three, two, one, zero. All right, one last Ooh. one. This one is specifically designed to stretch out your back and posterior chain. We're gonna do a reach stretch. So again, we're I'm on the uh, front half of my chair. I'm gonna take both hands, bring them up and around like I'm swimming, and I'm gonna reach just like there's uh, you know an object, let's say, 
uh, one inch away from my fingertips and I can't quite get it. Just keep reaching and pulling and pulling and reaching. Your upper body's on about a 45 degree angle. But we're going to just keep reaching. Feel those lats stretch, upper back stretch, and hold. Man, I did not expect to sweat as much as I did today. <laughs> it is hot in the gym today, yeah. folks. What is it, about 90, 90, 95 in here? It's not. It's not that hot. It's warm, but it's not that She's hot. She's lying. It's about 85 outside, but it's about 90 in here for three two one zero and that's Ooh. it guys you made it thank Excellent you so work. much for all of your hard work today yes. Woo. good job coach uh, and, and good job to you out there thank you for working out with us if you've been working out with us for a while and you're starting to see some results we'd encourage you to please go check out our patreon page where you can find out more about how you can support our mission of keeping these great workouts free and if you enjoyed this exercise routine with us today, we ask that you give the video a big thumbs up and please hit that red subscribe button to our YouTube channel so that you never miss another workout from HasFit. Make sure to check out HasFit.com where we have hundreds of free workouts, our free meal plans, and our free complete fitness programs. And if you are on any type of social media platform, whether that's Facebook, Twitter, or Instagram, Snapchat. Am I leaving one out? Wherever you are, <laughs> come find us. We would love we to connect, connect with you. That's Again, right. Again, thank you so much for working out with us today. I'm Coach Kozak. And I'm Claudia. And we will see you at your next workout.